So today we're going to take a look at on how to create custom curves for your dynamic camera system component. So you can animate the player camera in any way you like. So these are, th are the curves that I've made and they do take quite some effort to make but the way I've been making them is using level sequencer. So let's take a look at the process really quickly. So the first thing uh, you'll need to do is go and add in level sequence. Uh, once you click it, you'll be prompted to save it somewhere. Once you got it saved, just open it really quickly. And you'll need to select it. Once you got it selected, it's going to be empty. You're going to need to go here, create a new camera and set it as the current camera cut. Once you got it in your level, you'll need to click on it and set the rotation to zero. Zero out the entire rotation values. Once uh, that's done, make sure that you have this somewhere, the transform uh, tab. And you will need to select this to true, put it to true. and you can set the frame rate like to 60 or 30 depending on uh, what you want the camera to feel like to the player if it's going to be like something action it's better to use 25 or 24 if it's going to be like an idle state uh, it's better to use 60 however 30 is like a nice average and then you'll need to have this open show the animation keys in, in a curve at the tour so this is the curve editor here. Uh, just minimize it and put it somewhere. So because you're going to be working with it a lot. Okay, so once all that is set up, the tabs are set up properly. Uh, you will need to click this here, lock to select the viewport. And now we can start animating it because we are piloting the camera. So the first thing we will need to do is put in a key here on on the zero rotation values. We put a key on the zero rotation. So this is our start frame and then we can start animating. So let's say after 50 frames or sorry, let's say after 30 frames, which is going to be a second, the camera is going to look up like this and you can see the level sequencer created a key for us because we have this set to true. And after, let's say, two seconds or something, we're going to look back to left. Okay, so let's take a look at, ha at how it looks like. Just look up and look left. Pretty average stuff, right? So let's give it some nice feeling. Let's zoom in. And we're going to animate the in-between motion. So the time from going up and then going left, we're going to put some values so we can give it a nice realistic feel. So here at 33%, which is going to look a little bit to the left. And then back here, we're going to look back down a little bit. And now it looks like you're scanning the area. And then here when we look back down to left, we're just going to add some random motions. So let's take a look at how it looks like. So it looks like that the player is scanning something. So let's say you're happy with how it looks like, you're done. So you go in your curve editor here, go in your transform, rotation, and now you, you can take these values in another curve graph and save it somewhere. So we will open this one by one and copy it in another asset. Let's start with the all first. I'll open my content browser. 
I'll create a new vector curve curve vector we'll call it C scanning okay and now we can just copy and paste these values in Yeah, you'll need to dock this a little bit better instead of just having it open like that so you don't have to deal with going back and forth with the minimizing and these are all pinned right now so you unpin them we select the yaw first select it here control V go into our pitch copy it paste it in save it we have no values in the row because we didn't animate the role axis so we don't need to put anything in here okay once that's done your asset is good to go you can use it in the dynamic camera system component so let's take a look at how we can plug it in here's my player character and when I press V, I'm going to go into the warm state, so I'll just put the curve to scanning. And I'll clamp it to... these values are okay. So the values are very high right now, but you can see it's working fine. If you want to adjust the values further, you can clamp it even further with 25, 25, and let's put this to 70, and we will put the looping method to 0 0.1 negate. We will put this to when we are not moving. So that's our curve and it's uh, pretty good for something that quickly. However, you can get even more advanced with this. You can put in your mesh, your character mesh in the level sequence and attach the camera to the head socket and record the rotation values in the curve editor. Uh, so you don't have to bother with animating. All right, that's pretty much it. I hope uh, it was something new for you and thank you.